welcome back to Max Reaction. Hopefully you're having a good day, a fantastic day. My day's just starting here with the kids. You gotta take my uh, son to the doctor later. But for now, we're gonna react, and we're gonna react to a uh, Philippine military video. It was requested last night, so I'm gonna check it out. It's the History of the Light Reaction Regiment, LBR, Armed Forces of the Philippines. So, um, I'm not really sure who they are. I think they're some kind of terrorist, uh, they go after terrorists, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's check it out. We'll see what's up. Let's do this. Prior to the creation of the LRR, the Republic of the Philippines maintained a small counter-terrorism unit called yeah. A-20, okay. which belonged to the 33rd Special Forces Company. In the year 2000, Islamist terrorist organizations in the Philippines were growing in strength. A series of high-profile kidnappings of American citizens captured Western attention. Yeah, a lot of a lot of kidnappings for ransom. Um, I was looking throughout the history of how safe it was the Philippines when I was getting ready to go over to the Philippines for the first time because I want to make sure you know I know what's going on and you know occasionally you know there was a kidnapping. Um, so, I wouldn't say the Philippines is not safe, but there's certain areas in the Philippines you gotta watch out for your back or you probably shouldn't just go. And it's a peace of mind knowing that they create forces like the LRR, you know. It just uh, puts a little peace of mind knowing that they're there to help out. Now the United States wanted to fight a problem that the armed forces of the Philippines have been dealing with for decades. The terrorist attack in 2000 led Ambassador Michael Sheehan, supported by Joe Felter, the Deputy Defense Attaché, to push for the Philippine Armed Forces to develop a more robust counter-terrorism capability. Under Title 22 Security Assistant Authorities, the United States prepared to deploy a mobile training team of Green Berets to the Philippines to train a new counter-terrorism unit. In November of 2000, the Philippines authorized the creation of this new unit. Under General Order Number 1292, the Light Reaction Company was born. But still, they had to be trained and equipped. Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 1st Special Force Group, stationed at Okinawa, Japan, was given the task of training the LRC. Wow, they were trained over in Japan. Um, it sounds like the Green Berets from the United States kind of helped train too. Many of the Green Berets were and graduates of the SFAR, the AETC, and SOTIC, who were also regionally aligned with the Philippines. Awesome. They were the perfect choice to mentor the new unit. $25 million were spent to support the unit. Awesome. The unit sources its personnel from scout rangers and special forces and then trains them along counter-terrorism lines which was done by the US. There were also some rivalries as the two other army SOCOM units, the scout rangers and the special forces, eyeballed the new unit suspiciously. The fact that LRC or the Light Reaction Company was getting the state-of-the-art weapons and equipment, the LRC had all the good stuff. <laughs> Top of the line gear, whatever the B11 guys had, the LRB had. Oh uh, yes. The Light Reaction Company nearly had their first counter-terrorism training course cut short, as the military wanted to deploy them immediately down south to Basila. The mission was to locate and rescue two American missionaries who had been kidnapped by the Akushia. Martin and Garcia Burnham were taken from the resort. They were staying at while celebrating their 18th wedding anniversary. The LRC hit the ground and began their search. For That's so sad that you're over there, you know, you're celebrating your 18th anniversary and then gun, you know, armed gunmen come in and take you to who knows where, somewhere, somewhere out in the mountains, somewhere out in the jungle, I'm sure. Um, and you don't know if you're going to live and die, live or die. And there's a high possibility that you will die. But, it, you know, it's good that we have the LRR now to kind of help find you and hopefully bring you home safe. Suffering from command and control problems, it was an issue 
endemic among Philippine SOF units. But while deployed, they fell under the command of local area commanders, who usually do not have special operation experience or know how to properly employ such units. The Light Reaction Company also deployed in their search alongside a company of scout rangers and a company of special forces, together creating the Counter-Terrorism Task Force. U.S. Special Forces was advised and tried to help as best as they could. Wow. It was just months after the 9-11 attack. It shook the world and the war on terror had begun. Rumor has it that some U.S. Special Forces members wore Philippine military uniforms and were on the front lines with their host nation counterparts. Really? At this time, there were also Philippine commanders who were assigned American Special Forces advisors. Those advisors had to go wherever their counterpart did. Wow. So if he was on the front, then so were they. Wow. However, these American soldiers did not engage in a firefight. With LRC's initial deployment, other problems began to emerge. The LRC has to be a highly specialized unit. You can't keep them in the field for more than six months. You have to bring them back and retrain them. Retrain them? Wow, they're highly trained, man. If you gotta retrain them after they've already been out the of the Philippine field. Philippine Armed Forces were learning the same lessons that the U.S. <laughs> Army did when it stood up the Delta Force. A Squadron and B Squadron were initially created, but soon they realized that C Squadron was also required. Thus, it needed to become a battalion with three companies. In the future, we are now looking at training soldiers in an urban setting. To this day, the Light Reaction Battalion partakes on urban operations, particularly in the urban setting. I believe that's important because we've seen what happened to Marawi, and that's definitely an urban, urban, urban setting. Um, luckily, you know the Philippines. Even though it took a few months, it I think it was pretty fast for what they were dealing with. Um, we all know how dangerous and deadly Marawi was, and how it devastated that city, and how many people. Uh, lost their lives, including, like, all the bad guys lost their lives, thankfully, because they did some horrendous acts. But, yeah, urban settings, training is highly important, um, I would say. Two of which were the Zemboang Siege and the Marawi Siege. And that's that. And uh, on a side note, down in Zamwanga City, my uh, wife was living down there. Her family was living down there as that siege was taking place. So um, they know a little bit about how scary that can be and how dangerous that can be. Um, thankfully, morale in Zamwanga City, it, it didn't. They both didn't last. I mean, morale lasted quite a while, but it could have been worse. In Zamwanga City, I think it didn't last very long at all. Um, so, the Philippine military did what they had to do to push push out or kill these bad guys because there's always people out there with bad intentions, horrible intentions, and uh, they need to be dealt with. So, it's good to see new things pop up like the LRR. Um, obviously, it's not new now, but it was at one time. And who knows what the militaries are working on now that we don't know. Uh, the public shouldn't know everything. There should be some. There should be some secretive uh, agencies out there if they're out there to do good and protect the citizens and protect the tourists and just protect the the, the everyday life. You know that we should ha get to live in peace. So thanks. Stories like this are amazing. I like reacting to them. So if there's any more that I haven't reacted to, because I've reacted to a bunch of uh, military stuff in the Philippines. Uh, and we've learned, learned a lot through this channel. Um, let me know what to react to if I've missed something because I thoroughly enjoy these. Let, also, let me uh, know what to react to next. It could be, be about anything. So comment down below. Let me know. Hopefully you enjoy the reaction because I enjoyed reacting. And I'll see you next time. Peace.